today we are going to learn uh, shorter edge uh, problem in rectangles okay so we have to see the question first you can see this rectangular lamina of dimension 35 into 20 mm so we have to construct a rectangle of dimension this rests on hp so it is resting first position resting on the hp and one of its shorter edges so we have to construct an uh, rectangle with the shorter edge here now the lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests it till it appears as a square in the top view. so it is similar to your isosceles uh, triangle problem wherein the second position is an equilateral triangle right similar to it herein they have not mentioned the angle of inclination to hp instead of that they have mentioned a second position v okay in the second position uh, uh, top v we getting a square square of dimension 20 we can construct now the edge on which the lamina rests is inclined to vp 30 degree okay so in this uh, first we have to construct a rectangle next in the second position we will get a square of 20 okay and in the third position we have to incline it by 30 degree to vp okay so we will proceed with the question xy vp hp so our first position start from the hp plane with respect to shorter edge shorter edge means here it is 20 mm so i'll be taking 20 here so this is 20 and here it is 35 35 means three and a half box okay three and a half box Now we can write the notations A, B, C, and D. So we'll draw the front view. Okay. So B dash and C dash visible, but A dash and D dash not visible. So you can see in this problem, uh, they have not mentioned the second position. Instead of that, they have mentioned a uh, we get a square in the of you. you can see that the lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in the top view. so if you project it here we get a square here dimension of 20 here see so if we uh, project it we will get a, a square of 20 here okay so we will get a square of 20 here dimension so first we will construct this so it is similar to your uh, isosceles uh, triangular problem okay so here it is a b c and d okay now projecting it upward we will get the inclination to hp okay so how much we have tilted the rectangle so that we getting an angle here okay so this is the reference point b dash b dash so we are measuring this length, okay, it is similar to your isosceles triangular problem, measuring this length, we are going to cut the arc, so we will get angle here, so C dash, D dash, we have to find out how much angle it is, okay. So you can find out how much angle. So it is around 55 degree. Okay, 55 degree it is. Okay. So now in the third page you can see that the edge on which the lamina rest is inclined at 30 degree to VP. So we have to first take a reference point to this reference point drawing 30 degree angle line. Okay. So 30 degree angle line. So we have to place this resting edge on this angle line. That's it. So take a reference of A. Now 
now a to b second arc next from a to d this is also same right all are all are 20 20 mm only so this is b now reverse a to c and b to d a to c okay then b to d so this is a d and this is c Okay, now projecting upward we can complete the first problem okay so we get it here this is a dash so b dash we get it here c dash is this and d dash is this so we will join this points to complete the final position okay so this is how we complete the shorter heads problem in rectangles